Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I know I sure am. It is gorgeous out tonight. So I am super excited. I had to pick out something special for you today. This has one of the most unique floor plans for a bunk model that I have seen. It's a great setup. It accommodates a lot of people, but it is in the Viking 5K series. If you can see this decal from there, which means it weighs under 5,000 pounds, 4,883, I think. We'll check that weight sticker here in a second, but all the specifications will be in the, in the description of this video along with my contact information. This is the 2024 Viking 252D bus. I think you guys are gonna really love it. I sure did. I saw this and one of the first things I saw or noticed was, man, what a cool floor plan. Now, if you don't mind, take a moment right now to hit that like and subscribe button. You know, join my little growing community here of campers. That would just be superb. But, <laughs> oh man, I'm in a goofy mood today, I'll tell you. It's been awesome. A lot of things to celebrate. The new job is finally starting to really pick up and I uh, could not be more excited that. We just sold our fifth unit for the month. It's halfway through the month. I know it doesn't seem like much, but considering we only had five units on the ground a couple weeks ago, that is so excited, so exciting. But again, 2024 Viking 252 D bus, or as the kids would say, D bussin, because this floor plan slaps. This thing is awesome. Right when you walk in here, you're gonna see you have this really nice, kind of sit around open space with a couch, a bed that drops down for the Murphy style. So that's really nice. So you can still get a queen size bed, but during the downtime, it really utilizes that space with having that versatility right there. So I really like having that because this is a bunk model and you are gonna be sleeping a couple extra folks. Really nice flooring pattern on that with the linoleum. It's gonna be a one piece. You got those grays mixed in with a little bit of brown looking pretty darn sharp there. You're also gonna have a little bit of storage there as well. Windows on this are gonna be tinted. So for a price point unit, that's awesome to see, still see some pretty nice features like the tinted windows help mitigate some of that heat. Also a couple outlets right here and then the USB and the universal C charger to charge up your devices. Pull, push and plop, you got an emergency exit over here with a little blind o Rooney, help keep out some of the sun. Another window for a good breeze. This one does open up and then you got a TV backer. So you have a place where you can put a TV right here tv and auxiliary cords along with the appropriate outlets you can get watching the game you know in no time a little bit of storage and i even like how they put in that mesh netting right there so that's pretty nice to have but right here there's gonna be that little latch you simply undo that drop the bed down and it's going to cover that area so pretty pretty snazzy now you're gonna have a couple more sleeping spots big old double over double bunks back there i'll show you that here in a moment but this is going to be another couch so again more daytime or rainy day uh, sitting space that converts to sleeping. So this is gonna be on a jackknife. You just lift up right here and then drop down an additional sleeping space, probably for someone a little bit smaller or maybe a little bit shorter. You also get a couple cup holders. You got a little table right behind there. It's one of the foldable kinds, transportable. Put it in front of here or bring it outside, you know, for some tailgating or something like that. Little shelf, just some added space. Put some trinkets up there, you're good to go. Another window, kind of a little pantry space right here. Nothing too crazy huge, but I'll tell you what, it is nice, you're definitely gonna use it. Goes back probably about eight inches, I'd guess. And then you got more of it down here as well. And then right across from your seating, you're gonna have you know your cooking area. So you got plenty of countertop space because they went ahead and put on these tops. Without that, it would definitely be pretty limited. You know, but for a camper this size, you know, that's pretty awesome. Now to keep down on weight and cost, they have the plastic undermounted bowl. And then, oh. And then you also get your high rise faucet. And it's got this little kind of movable tip to it. Uh, I can't really show you, but whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. hit those dishes from all angles. You have another window and then you have the backsplash, which is going to have that kind of that brick imprint on there. You know, looking pretty darn nice. Three stovetop burners. So you can cook up all the fixings. And then you also got your fuse box. So if something's not working, make sure to go down there and check. It'll glow up nice and red for you, you know, and let you know what is not working. You also get the graystone hood so you can turn on a fan, you know, or the light to, you know, help suck out some of the steamer stank. And then you got your high point microwave. And I also enjoy how they went ahead and put in this black glass insert. I just think it adds to a nice kind of elegant little classy look to it. 
but you get some pretty good storage and there for size reference babe if you're watching i love you goes back about elbow deep and i got average arms for a six foot six foot guy ac right here it's also got the old dump valve so if you don't want it to run through the track you can't disproportionately push all that cool cold air here into the living room right here is going to be your control for that and then you also have your ever chill refrigerator and there's going to be a 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator meaning it'll run off the battery you know solar if you have that equipped it is solar prepped uh, there on the outside which i'll show you here on the outside portion but pretty nice you don't have to worry about the uh you know the sun coming down from one side or the other you know because it works just like the one inside your home just runs off a little bit different power whole bunch of cabinets you got two more down there and then uh yeah i'll show you these before i go into the bathroom so to get up into the bunks, you have these steps with a couple of pull-out drawers. That's always a plus just for some of those kids' belongings right there. You also see they're pretty long, you know, and they're about four inches deep. Oh, I'm cracking up. I'll tell you, my kids have been wanting me to use bussin' in a video, and I saw this, this model that is the d bussin'. I just had to do it. So, I don't know. I'm about to get roasted when I get home. But, you know, with the kids, you got to use the slang. So right here, you got your another emergency exit. So pull, push, and pop. You're good to go. But I love seeing these bunks. So you're going to have a light, USB, and universal C. You're also going to get a window on both sides. So that way you don't have to hear any arguing at night. Everyone's taken care of. Everyone's got light. Everyone's got a view. And everyone has power. But they're also double wide bunk beds, you know, for even some of the bigger kids or possibly even you know, that fun uncle that had a couple too many brewskis, 300 pound weight capacity. So that is nice. Plenty of size right there. I believe it's about six foot tall. I hopped in it and I was perfectly fine. You know, and I'm, uh, I'm six foot, 300 pounds. So I'd yeah, put on one on the bottom one right there. You got a mirror. Check out the old bowling gun. That bad boy's good for a 200 average right there. Plastic foot flush thrown with just enough room to sit down and do your thing. You also got just a little bit of shelving and a little bit of countertop space, enough room to put on, you know, maybe a soap or, uh, you know, a toothbrush, something like that. Plastic bowl here, access to your plumbing along with, you know, just a little bit of storage. Pretty clean cut down there too, which I enjoy. Then you got a little fan right there just to kind of help get things in and out. And then you got a shower with a skylight. The shower's not too big, but it's just big enough, you know, for a camper. You're going to be a kind of weekend warrior and something this size, and that's just going to go, you know, just fine for you. If you guys have made it this far, if you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button. And before I head around the outside, I'm going to drop this, uh, this Murphy. So what you do is you just grab both of these cushions. Get them a moving. Bada binga, bada boom. And then keep in mind, I got a camera while I'm doing this, so it's nothing that's too hard at all. All right, and there you go. Now you got a really nice sleeping space. It took up the daytime space of the seating. Now you can lay down and go to rest. All right, but again, it's the 2024 Viking 252D bus. The specifications will be down in the description of this video. You know, things like that awning. I'm going to guess that awning is about 18 feet. That is a massive awning, maybe even 20. 5K series, because all of them in the 5K series, they're going to have a 3, 4, and 5K series, and that's going to indicate the dry weight. So I think in total, this thing can weigh up to about 7,000 pounds, which is pretty nice. It actually has a pretty strong cargo carrying capacity compared to a lot of the campers in its class. I don't know too much about the construction, but I would vary to say that Coachman is doing a pretty darn good job with this brand in particular uh, because it is through the roof for that. Or I apologize. Yeah, the old Forest River, but whatever. They hired me because I'm friendly. So right over here, got the old pass-through storage, a little bit bigger here on this end, but it does go all the way through, which is nice. And they even took the time to go ahead and put uh, the linoleum flooring there. You do have the plastic clips. I'm not a big fan of those if you guys have seen it, but again, it keeps costs down. And for some people, you know, the camper's the camper on that. You don't need to go with a magnetic clip or anything that adds expense. This is going to be your solar prep. 
so you can get one of those 10 volt kind of briefcase ones, keep the battery trickle charging. I also like how they put in the rock guard up here, so the diamond plate rock guard, really enjoy that. I think they look really sharp, you know, with the, the kind of the white, the gray, and then the white going staggered like that. Just a really nice, nice classic look. Solid entry steps, along with the old granny handle, as I like to call it, because it sticks out, gives you a sturdy place where you can get up and down. You're also gonna have a couple outlets if you wanna hang up a TV. And then you got a dual axle right there. LP Quick Connect, so you can get grilling. And this one looks like a pretty nice LP Quick Connect. It's got the open and the close right there. I like where that's located also. You know, it's on the action side, which I enjoy. And then you notice how there's no slides here on this side either. So you could build up like a deck or something like that if you wanted to even. Little leash latch for your furry friend. And then you're gonna have a bumper with the spare tire. That's where you're gonna see those two bunk windows. But then right here, you are prepped for a rear observation camera. So that is definitely a nice thing to have. If you're gonna be driving this thing along, you're feeling a little bit, you know, kind of funky or some type of way about it. Furion system, the S-Vision, that's 4.3 inches for the camera that you suction cup right onto the windshield of your vehicle. I believe that'll run you somewhere around 700 bucks, you know, something like that. But it is a very nice thing to have. So that way, you know, you're just a little bit safer, a little bit more secure while you're driving. You are eligible to put a slide topper on top of this as well, if you would like. That's gonna be a piece of awning that goes from here to here. They run you seven to 800 bucks, just depending on which size that you get. But when you pull in that slide, if there's a tree branch or anything like that on top of it, that's usually where you're gonna get those leaks from. It's kind of that bonehead moment where you just forget to clean off the top. Cable and satellite hookup, your 30 amp connection. You also got your water heater right there and then your outside showers. So that's hot and cold water access out here. Doesn't have too much pressure, but you can use it to clean off, give the dogs a bath, maybe, you know, brush off the kids' legs after, you know, going out, hitting the trails and whatnot. Waste holding tank, sewer connection, and your low point drain are all going to be located right there. So really nice and centrally located. Love seeing it. It also looks like those axles are spread out a little bit, which probably makes for a smoother ride. Haven't towed one of these, but, um, you know, it looks like it's going to be good to go. This is the back end here of that pass-through storage, but you got your city water connection, your fresh water drain, and then your potable water fill-up. Look at that. But all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. This was the 2024 Viking 252D bus. My name is Hunter. See ya.